Hello everybody. I thought I would film this uh, intro video as a separate piece so I wouldn't waste my time uh, while making the actual top 25 videos. Uh, I've always loved these uh, 100 best albums of all time lists. I always read them when I can come across them in magazines or in the internet. Uh, but uh, I, as uh, I'm sure everybody who has tried making those lists themselves have come to the same problem that I have. And, well, I have actually two problems, but the first one is uh, obvious to everyone. And that is that uh, when you first start making those lists, it's easy to just add albums onto the list, thinking, okay, that's a great album, let's put that one in, and then that's a great one, let's put that one in. Uh, but then the closer you get to the top, the more difficult it becomes to decide which one goes and at number five and which one goes at number four. But uh, eventually you come into some kind of de decision and you have a hundred best albums list. And for a moment I'm happy with it, but then I start going down to the list and look at something like, okay, that album is at number 83. That, no, no, that, that, that can't be. I have to put that one more higher. But if I put that one more higher, which one do I bring down? So I'm always second guessing myself. And the other problem is uh, Elvis Presley's music. Uh, to me, Elvis Presley's music is uh, a world of its own. Uh, I have always listened to his music. Uh, it's like a part of me. So uh, even with so somebody else's, like uh, even when uh, music is like really dif uh, different to each other, something like Dire Straits and Motorhead, I can still like uh, weigh in uh, sort of like uh, thinking that it's is this one better or is this one better? Uh, sort of like uh, deciding which one of them is better. But with Elvis Presley's music, uh, even with his albums that I know that are not that good, I still like them. I, I like them in a way that uh, I just can't ignore the... the uh, uh, how, how should I say it? Um, with somebody else, it's easy to say that, okay, there's like two bad songs on there, and that album has only one bad song, so that one is better. But even with Elvis, some of his albums which are not that good, I basically like ignore that thing. To me, it's it's his music. I have grown up with that music, so I just love that. I can't compare his music to somebody else's music. So, uh, uh, I came uh, a simple way to sort of like go past this problem and that started with uh, this one. I showed this some time ago. This is uh, The Waltz by Lemonator. And when I bought this, uh, I came to realize that this was my Finnish album number 500, uh, including full-length albums, uh, mini-albums and EPs. And that made me think that could I possibly choose uh, 25 best Finnish albums? Uh, because that's uh, five, uh, 25 albums out of 500 is 5%. Uh, so in a way it's not that much, but uh, in another way it's uh, already like a considerable amount of records. And I started making a list and uh, I quickly came up with uh, 27 or 28 albums. And that meant that all, I only had to cut like two or three albums and I had best 25 albums. And uh, instead of putting them in order, I decided that that's, that's enough. Uh, I have 25 best finished albums. Who cares in, what, in which order they are? They are just the best albums. And that made me decide that I can use the same uh, method uh, with the rest of my collection. I uh, put my rest of my collection into pieces like uh, uh, best finished albums, best foreign albums, best metal albums, best live albums. And, uh, well, you may ask that uh, why didn't I choose uh, best Elvis Presley albums? Well, the reason is that uh, no matter how much of a fan I am, I still realize that his worst albums are the 60s movie soundtracks. So, uh, obviously, those are like out of the picture. And uh, the rest of his catalog consists of about 26 albums. So making top 25 out of uh, 26 albums hardly makes any sense. So the uh, fifth category is best compilations. 
And uh, the, why I chose to make a top 25 out of compilations is uh, obvious. Uh, everybody loves compilations to to some degree. Uh, everybody have uh, compilations that they think that they, this is a fantastic compilation that every track here is great. And that is why I don't choose compilations on these uh, top 25 lists uh, because I feel that the compilations ha has an uh, an un unfair advantage to uh, simple uh, album releases because with compilations you can cherry pick the best songs and of course you have great album. So uh, that was one uh, reason why I didn't choose compilations into these other uh, top 25 categories. Uh, I chose uh, at first I chose three rules uh, to which uh, by which I would make these uh, lists, and one was no compilations, uh, except that as soon as I started making uh, these best Finnish albums list, I came up with uh, two compilations that I wanted to include. Uh, although in the end I only chose one compilation, but that meant that th that rule was out the window. And the second rule was that no two albums from the same artist. So for example, if I choose a Pink Floyd album, I cannot choose a David Gilmore album. And the same, one, the same way the other way around. If I choose David Gilmore solo album, I can choose Pink Floyd album. And the reason for that is that I think that if I'm choosing uh, 25 best albums, why is somebody's second best album better than somebody else's best album? So uh, obviously, if I if I am choosing the best albums, they have to be the best albums and not their second best albums. But then I started uh, thinking with somebody like uh, let's say Don Airy. Uh, Don Airy has been member of both Rainbow and Deep Purple, and although he sometimes do uh, write music, uh, he's mostly just a member of the band. He isn't like a, a crucial member, he isn't the central member of the band. Uh, unlike for example uh, Richie Blackmore, when he was member of the Rainbow or the Deep Purple, he was like the crucial member, central member. He wrote so much for those bands that his role in the band was crucial. And the one that I was actually thinking about when I was uh, thinking about this role was Ronnie James Dio. He has been a crucial member in uh, Rainbow, Black Sabbath and Dio. So yeah, that rule went out the window also. And the uh, third rule was no albums that have been released or that I have owned less than one year. Because when you have a new album to yourself, you, you're bound to feel like uh, extra excited up towards that album. So it's like uh, it's clouding the judgment in part. So that's why I thought that no uh, no albums from less than one year, except that there was one album that I am so crazy about at the moment that I had to include it. So uh, even that rule went out the window. In the end I decided to only use two rules uh, with this. And one is that uh, uh, I could only choose single or double albums. No triple albums, no box sets, which was a shame because I really wanted to include uh, three or four box sets into uh, these compilations. Uh, but I, I decided that only single or double albums. Uh, with the uh, other categories it didn't matter because there was only uh, George Harrison's All Things Must Pass, which was the only triple album that I was considering including, but in the end I decided to leave that one out. And the, uh, uh, the other rule was that uh, n none of these albums could appear in more than one list. Uh, so in the end uh, there was actually only two live albums that I was really considering including in uh, both, both best live albums and uh, best foreign albums. Uh, but in the end when I was making this list uh, I I was really considering only one of them, uh, including in two of those categories, uh, but uh, I, I decided that no album could appear in more than one category. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know when I'm starting filming these, uh, and I don't know if I'm filming uh, five videos in a day or 
uh, one video for five days straight or one video in five weeks. Uh, all I know is that when I start making these videos is that uh, I will start with the Finnish albums and hopefully I will start making these videos soon. So uh, if you have uh, any thoughts about these uh, uh, list uh, categories or rules that I'm using or rules that I discarded, uh, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Bye.